Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so today we are going to do some cooking. So we are going to be off to the kitchen. So let's get started. Okay guys, so welcome back. We're going to make donuts today. They're supposed to be easy. So I'm going to tell you the ingredients we need. So I have one cup of milk, one, third, one fourth cup of sugar, I have one package of yeast, four cups of all-purpose flour, a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, uh, six teaspoon, tablespoons of melted butter, two eggs, and vanilla extract. And I'm going to use about a, ca a capful of vanilla extract. And then I have the oil, so once I mix it together, I'm going to oil the bowl, and then it's got to sit. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of flour on the counter so it doesn't stick. Just like that. Now, I've got it all kneaded combined together so what I want to do is knead it a little bit like you are kneading bread just put it on the counter and fold it over and and see it's not sticking to my hands so that's a good dough so I'm just kneading it together a little bit just like that a little sticky but not so sticky where you can't knead it and I'll knead it for I don't know three or four minutes and then I'm going to put some oil in my bowl and then I will be covering it and letting it sit for about 40 minutes so that it will double in size and let the yeast work. So I'll show you that in a couple of seconds. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just put very little oil in there. We don't need a lot. We just don't want it to stick to the sides. So I'm just moving the oil around the bowl. Now, I've kneaded it and I just kind of put it in a ball just like that. And then I'm going to drop it in there. And you can cover it with a tea towel or you can cover it with saran wrap. I'm going to put saran wrap over it and leave it for about 40 minutes to an hour. What should happen is it should double in size. So that's what we're waiting for. And I'll be back once it's done its thing. So the dough is finished rising. It has doubled in size. So all you're going to do is take it out of the bowl. Just like that. You're going to take it out and put it on the counter and roll it out about a half an inch thick. So just put flour on your counter and roll it out. And I'm going to do that. I'll be right back. So I don't have a donut hole puncher, but I do have a glass. So I'm going to use this glass for the donut. And then for the middle, I'm just going to use this small shot glass. So I have some flour over here. So I'm just going to dip my cup in the flour. And I'm just going to press down on the dough and cut it. And I'm going to do it again. I'm going to re-dip my glass. I'm going to see how many I can get out before I have to re-roll it. Sorry about the dog barking. He heard a noise. So I'm just going to keep doing that. Just like this. And then, to do the centers, 
I got this small shot glass. I'm going to dip it in there. And then I'm going to push it down. And that's going to be the donuts. Just like that. And then I will lay them on foil and then I'm going to deep fry them. So there's the, just take the center out and there's the donut. So I'm just going to put it on foil. I'm going to keep doing that and then I'll be right back. Okay, to make the glaze I have six tablespoons of butter. Uh, one tablespoon of milk. I'm going to add one capful, which is about a, ta a teaspoon of vanilla and around a cup of icing sugar. If you find it's a little bit too runny or a little bit too thick, just add a little bit more milk if it's too thick. If it's too runny, just add a little bit more icing sugar. But it is supposed to be a glaze for the donuts, so it doesn't have to be really thick. So that's what I'm doing now. So I got this brand new deep fryer. I'm just going to open it up, rinse it out, and get the oil ready, and then turn it on. And then I will show you the donuts cooking in a minute. So once the oil is hot, it doesn't take long so you just drop one I'm just doing two at a time they sink but once they pop up they will be almost done on that one side so they're just taking a few minutes per side to cook I will flip it and flip it and now a few minutes on this side and then I drop it in the glaze and then I just end up putting it right there to dry so that's all you do this one is done so we'll put it over on the foil and then drop two more in very simple very easy and I'll be back I just baked, I just deep fried them and then I dipped them into the glaze and then just put them down on foil. And then this ones I am just dropping them into cinnamon and sugar and I'm just shaking them all around the cinnamon and sugar just like that. And then I'm going to put them down on the foil to dry. So just like that and there's that one so it that batter roughly makes about 24 donuts I also made a couple small little what we call in Canada Timbits and they look like this they're just the centers they turned out really good so yeah this is a really easy recipe they taste really good. They're not heavy. They taste light. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please hit the notification bell so you know that every time I do an upload. Bye, everyone.